tell people what's going on. Just going over my E Revo, thinking about charging up my 3S Lipos for a 6S rip. Still raining. I don't know, man. I hate it when it rains. It's very depressing when I can't run my stuff. Uh, I did order some tires for the uh, 5B. Ordered two different types, two different sets. And we'll go over those when I get them. Um, I wasn't going to order them yet. You know, just try not to spend no money. But um, I saw where I'm at with my YouTube channel and, and my... Uh, you know, I like to talk a lot about the monetization part of it because that's not what it's all about. But it does help buy parts for the, uh, you know, for the platforms, for my hobby. That's what happens is I take that money and I put it back in. And each month that I've been monetized, I've done a little better and a little better every month. So uh, this payment will go out uh, at the end of this month. And it's about 300 bucks. So like 280 so we're going to use that money to buy tires for the 5b so anyway guys again i appreciate all my subscribers i appreciate you know all the input that you guys give me and the great information especially lately on the 5b the the fifth scale community out there is great man there's not a lot of drama and issues and things like that like there is in the nitro hobby but um anyway i appreciate it guys once the uh Hopefully my engine will be here this week. I have not gotten the uh, update. I use this uh, program called Shop, and it uh, it updates me on everything that's been shipped and all that type of stuff. I did pick up, uh, went over to Detroit Performance and picked up um, mud guards, the carbon carbon fiber mud guards for the 5B. So those should be coming. And then uh, the two sets of tires that I ordered as well. So once they get here, I'll show you that. But hopefully my engine will be here this week. It would be great. It was paid for and ordered on January 8th. He said around two weeks. Um, so I should be getting an update from them pretty soon. Yep, I almost told you who it was. Not yet. I'll show you all what engine I got when it gets here. Is it OBR? Is it Bartolone? We don't know. We'll find out though. All right, guys. So basically what I wanted to do is just show you all what I was doing here, how I do my filters. I just clean my filter. I use my clots. I've been using the clots a lot lately. I take one of these small zip ties, I spray or uh, Ziploc bags, and I spray the clots down in there. And then I just put the filters down in there, squish them around, squish it as I get it nice and coated, and squish it as I bring it up to kind of dry it out. Then I take a couple of uh, shop towels and I dry it really good. And this is what it comes out like. Uh, but really what I wanted to show you all was this um, outerwear. I told you all before that I clip the, uh, I take the string out of it first thing. And then I use a zip tie instead of the, the string. So let me show you all how I'm doing this real quick. Let me get the, uh, eh, that's not going to work. So. All right, guys. Anyway, how about I'll put y'all right here for a second. Get y'all up in there. Put you on top of the Fast Eddie grease. All right, guys. So basically, just take the zip tie once you got the string out. And you're going to feed it through. Just put it in the hole. This is a good size for it, too. Um, it's a little tight going in at first. But once you get it in there, it'll go all the way around. Just feed it through all the way around it'll pop out the other side just like that and then what i do is i go ahead and get my filter get it in the outerwear just like so get in there just make sure it's around the edge Go ahead and hook your zip tie. Like I said, make sure it goes around the outer edge like that. Just pull her nice and tight. That way you don't have to worry about that string hanging down. 
nice and tight. Alright, then we just clip it off, man. Just clip it off, bam. And there you go. No pesky string, no BS. I coat my outerwares with uh, silicone spray as well. There you go. All right, guys. I had to update. I had to download the the GoPro app and figure. I'm terrible at electronics and computers and all that, but I figured it out how to update it. And it's a beautiful sight. So this is going to be. This was for the. Um, I cleaned up since I couldn't run yesterday or today. I went ahead and just cleaned up the 8 XT and. Uh, the water out of the engine put the engine back in and all that so we've got about uh i want to say probably about a gallon on here and a gallon on here through the red max fuel i know everybody's looking at that tnr fuel and all that we'll see how that progresses in the hobby and what people actually think about it once they start running it just like any other product guys i i want to not only try it for myself, but I want to see what people think about it as it com comes out. That's what I was going to do with the 8XT, but I got that sucker right away when it first dropped. Y'all know that. Originally, I'd said I was going to wait and get the second run after Christmas, and uh, I didn't. I went ahead and did it, and I'm kind of glad I did. I like the platform. I'm getting used to both of these. Uh, my Techno still, to me, are far superior than the 8 uh the TLR products, but uh, they're growing on me, man. They're they're really growing on me. So we'll see. We'll see who comes out on top. But anyway, guys, uh, the Red Max fuel is is good fuel, man. I'm having no issues with it whatsoever. Uh, I think shipped to my door. I don't remember what I paid. Maybe 170 bucks, but it's a full case, four quarts or four gallons, 16 quarts. So. 170. I know the the TNR is going around 41 dollars a gallon. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of pricey. So, uh, that's 88, 160. Yeah, it's about the same. In all actuality, it's about the same. Uh, but you can only get it in California, and I don't think they're shipping the TNR yet. So, right here, guys, the Red Max is. I'm just saying. I've been running it. We're going to open these engines up. We're going to see what they look like. Uh, you know, the, the piston on both of these has a nice little caramelization. It looks really good. Uh, but that's really just telling me that I'm, I'm running my, my engines with a proper tune. So, But we'll break it apart. We'll see if there's any beginnings of rust around the bearing races and on the crank and things like that. So we may do that later on this afternoon. We'll see. Um, and I may throw this out there and, and give it a little bit of rip. A little bit bored, man, just sitting around doing nothing, you know. But, I mean, it's always n not nothing. There's always something to do, but not what I want to do. I love gas. I love nitro. And when all else fails, I got to move on to uh, E-Word. Look, my tea. I drink uh, lemon ginger tea every night. I don't drink. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't do drugs, none of that stuff. But I love my tea at night. So, all right, guys, we'll see what's popping here in a little bit, and we'll be back. We'll be back shortly. Peace. All right, people. So as promised, <clears throat> I pulled the uh, Triton RCR modified L5 out to inspect it. I actually counted up my quartz. There were 16 quarts. I've used one gallon, four quarts on the LRP.28, which I have not run as much as the Triton. The only fuel that I have used in the Triton and the LRP is the Red Max, 30%, 50% synthetic caster blend, car fuel. 
So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six quarts left, and then about a little less than a half a quart there. So what that means is there were 16 quarts. So that means I have used five and a half quarts in the L5. So that's a gallon plus a quart and a half. So almost a gallon and a half of fuel through this one. So let's take a look. I haven't done anything. We haven't run any after run in either one of these engines on purpose. Uh, I normally run after one and a lot of run after my runs, but because we wanted to, and this is an ongoing thing, this is not done. We're going to check this again after another gallon or two or gallon and a half. Um, but purposely, we have only uh, not used after running these two vehicles for that main purpose. Um, I have used a little bit of the Bones Brew in my Bonito uh the past couple of runs i ran the lrp and i ran the bonito but i did run bones brew in those because i didn't want to contaminate the count on the red max so only red max fuel in these two engines so let's take a look and if you guys want to hang out after this portion of the video i know a lot of you are not into e-word but we are going to rip the uh, the E-Revo. Uh, just finishing up charging my second 3S pack uh, for it right here. So hang out if you want. It's a dreary day. It's very wet outside. So it's going to be a little bit of a nasty rip. But instead of doing the TRX-4, I want to run the E-Revo. Alright. So let's take a look. Let me zoom in on her. There we go. All right. Let's start out with the crank. Crank looks really good. There's a lot of oil on it. Looks like there might be a little dirt in the engine, too. We're going to clean all this up. I don't know why there's dirt in there. Little bits of brown you see there is the caster. But there's really no corrosion on this crank. Maybe get in the light a little bit more. Yeah, looks pretty good. This is one of the shiniest cranks that I've ever seen. It's got that white uh, fill in there that's infamous for RCR. He uses that white fill. All right, let's check out the piston. Now, I have been running, for the most part, only a P3 plug. So, it's a hotter plug. It's going to detonate a little bit faster and stronger. But... Piston looks pretty good too. Some good caramelization. You can see a little bit hotter detonation from the, the P3 plug. But it looks good. Trying to get in the light for y'all. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, what next? Let's look at the button head. Nice caramelization there. There's that P3 sticking out. Very nice. Man, it looks good. And the sleeve. This is that RCR modded sleeve. My 
hand shaking like crazy. Exhaust port. And this beautiful back plate. Love these back plates, man. Sexy. Get all that oil. And not least but not last, the block. Look at all that oil in there. No rust on the bearing race. The ceramic bearings. I say the Red Max is doing a good job, people. So I am going to switch out this uh, clutch. It's the one I was using the Techno 1.1 millimeter springs on, the Max Life shoes. Shoes are still good. Need to be cleaned up. Some of the slag gotten off of them. But we'll probably use that other, uh, that brand new 8X clutch that I pulled off of the Pico P7. So remember, you know, when you're taking these sleeves out and things, use use plastic equipment this is showed y'all this right after christmas my my son-in-law Braden gave me this it's a great tool but i also use to get the sleeve out i use this once the sleeve's been popped up but i use this which is 3 16 nylon rope non-abrasive i would use this over a zip tie that's just my opinion guys works good I got a bunch of it. Once it gets dirty, you know, I use it once or twice, and, and then I'll cut another piece. I got a bunch of it. So everything looks good, man. Kudos to the Red Max, guys. I know you everybody's looking at that TNR fuel, but Red Max is out there as well. About $170 is what I paid for 16 quarts, uh, 4 gallons of fuel. So we'll pull a couple more, a uh, couple more quarts in the LRP and we'll pull it apart. But I wanted to do this one because for one, this is the one we did our speed run in the other day. I wanted to check it out, make sure everything looks good. And for two, it has more fuel through it than the LRP. All right, guys, that's going to be it for now. Uh, stick around if you want after this. We're going to be ripping the E-Revo. I didn't want to use my daughter's purple body that I painted for her specific, so we're going to use this uh, this e -re or, uh, Revo 33 Platinum body, which also fits. Just got the fuel hole and the open back, but we're, we're going to use this body because I'm not afraid to beat it up. I don't want to beat up my daughter's purple metallic body there. So, all right, guys. That's it for now. Hang out if you want. If not, we'll see you all in the next video. More to come on the 5B. Hang in there, guys. All right. Peace.